Hi, we are back with another video. Um, this one is requested. Um, I'm gonna just shout you out, Billy. Billy, thank you uh, for requesting uh, this um, topic. Well, thank you for adding it in the comments so I can address it and talk about it, give you guys my two cents. Um, Billy is a day one supporter. He is always commenting on my videos and every time I see his comment, I just get so happy. So if you guys are coming across this video, make sure you like whatever Billy has to say. Please, thank you. All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about anxiety. That is the topic of today. We're talking about anxiety and how to stay in the moment when you become anxious. All right, so we're kind of talking about general anxiety. So I always think to myself when I'm anxious, remember the world that you live in, okay? You live in a world where you, someone's always trying to take you down, the world is always trying to take you out. Okay, I don't mean to be so, so serious, but we live in a fallen world, and if it's not the food that we're eating, it's the water we're drinking, it's the medications that we're taking, it's the alcohol that we're drinking, I'm being general. Um, it's all these things, it's the food, it's the bills, it's the work, it's you know not being you know satisfied at the job that we're at. So all these things are constantly bring us, bringing us down. And it's a lot of stuff. You know, eventually, it's like if you don't address it, this anxiety, I think, can build up. And of course, you know, there's different types of anxiety, but um, I'm not a professional. I'm just letting you guys know what I do started doing and what I find helpful. So first, I'm going to read the scriptures because when it comes to something like this, I think scriptures help because um it's good to remind yourself of who you are who you are in god's god's eyes your identity in god who you who he created you to be let's not forget okay you're unique you're amazing and he doesn't want you to be anxious he doesn't want you to live a life filled with anxiety why because anxiety is going to stop you from being your best best self and god created you to function the way he created you so he created all of us to be amazing and we're all meant to do amazing things. So anxiety stops you from being that amazing person that you are, correct? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna go into the five scriptures that I chose for this video. I'm sure there's many, many more, but these are my favorite for now. I'm sure I can find more. So. We're gonna go to the first one. These are all NKGV versions. Um, just because um, they're easier to understand. I prefer, I prefer KGV, but I'm gonna just read the NG, NKJV. Okay, sorry. Okay, so we're gonna go to John chapter 14, verse 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. So God wants you to be peaceful and he's giving you his peace, not peace that you can find in the world, not the, um, not whatever feeling or material item you associate with giving you peace. God will give you his peace, which is lasting and it is um he doesn't want you to be troubled he doesn't want you to be he doesn't want you to be afraid and that's what god wants for you okay so you have to remember that then remember we have the next one we have psalm 55 chapter 55 verse 22 cast your burden on the lord and he shall sustain you he shall never permit the righteous to be moved okay so when you're feeling like you have so many burdens when you're feeling anxious you just give it to God and he will keep you held upright he will hold you upright okay he will keep you solid let him be your rock okay cast your cast your burdens I was gonna say God cast your burdens onto him and he will take care of the rest but of course you have to have faith but you can meditate on these scriptures um, to, you know, release the tension in your body, help you to calm down, help you to get, you know, your breath un under control. 
help you to you know kind of get back to your right mind because if you're always anxious you you can't think clearly you know it's very hard um everything is just coming at you at once and it's hard to make a decision so you know just take this scripture and just give it all to him whatever you're wor worrying about at that moment just give it to god just give it to him even if you have to picture yourself giving it to god just give it to him whatever you have to do to release this burden just drop it drop it all right verse three scripture three philippians chapter four verse 13 i can do all things through christ who strengthens me and this is my favorite one because it's super simple and when i feel like i can't do something this is the one that i go to and this one helps me to um, tackle what it, whatever it is that I'm tackling while also allowing me to feel whatever it is I'm feeling at the moment. So if I'm feeling anxious, if I'm feeling stressed, or if I'm feeling nervous, I'm like, you know what? I'm feeling this way, but I can do it because God is going to strengthen me and he's beside me and I know who I, I know whom I belong to. I belong to Jesus. So I'm going to keep working and I'm going to keep doing what I have to do to get to where I got to be. All right, so that's that scripture. Then we have uh, Proverbs 12, Pro Proverbs chapter 12, verse 25. Anxiety in the heart of man causes depression, but good works, but good word makes it glad. So anxiety in the heart of man causes depression, but good word makes it glad. Oh, it's good work. Guys, I feel bamboozled. <laughs> so, um, anxiety in the heart of man causes depression, but good word makes it glad. Let me look that up. I feel I feel like it said work, but let me see. Nine you guys are amazing if you're still here i appreciate y'all so i'm looking at the verse just to make sure we're accurate because i really feel like it said something different but apparently i was wrong so proverbs chapter 12 verse 25 no, it's correct. I'm confused by this one. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wait, hold on. Anxiety in the heart of man causes depression. That is true. But good word makes it glad. So I would just say if you meditate on the scripture, if you meditate on a good word, it will make your heart glad. Or you can just say the scripture to yourself and remember <laughs> my reaction when I thought that it said, but good works makes it glad. And then you can just laugh. You can just laugh about me. Um, this is also a good scripture um, because it reminds you to keep God's word in your back pocket. Okay, so... I would say when you think of scripture, think of it as a tool, think of it as a weapon, think of it as like a keepsake. Like, you know, if someone gives you a locket for your birthday and they put this little picture inside just to, just so you are reminded that they love you and you love them. That's how you should think of a scripture is love. God left you this wonderful book. Um, he left, this is a really, really big book. It has every scenario of life that you can think of in this thing. So very re relatable. Whether we can understand the KGV version 100%, that is another story. But God loved it, okay? And we just, it's up to us to uh, decipher it. <laughs> but let me just move on to the fifth scripture, okay? So we have Matthew 6. Matthew uh, chapter 6, verses 25 through 27. And um, it says... Therefore, I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. 
Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to his stature? Okay, so, sorry guys, if you see me like touching my face, it's because my beautiful dog, Benji, he has so much hair, he loses hair, and it's just always flying in the air, and I just, I always feel like something's either flying by my nose, flying by my eyes, etc. Okay, so with this verse, God wants you to know if he can take care of the birds, right? If they're always provided for by nature, why wouldn't God provide for you who was originally meant to have dominion over these creatures? And do you not? Don't you have more value than them? And he just says, you know, the worrying, your worrying is not going to outdo God. It's not going to outrun God. God can handle handle your worrying, so just give it to him. That's it. Okay. Um, all of this to say, you know, when you're anxious, be mindful. Be mindful of your body. Be mindful of how your body is responding responding to anxiety. Be mindful of what triggers your anxiety right so if it's um doing something that entertains you when you should be working the fix would be to do that thing the hard thing do your work and then do the thing that's entertaining if you're just anxious all the time because your mind won't stop racing definitely pick a scripture and just meditate on it i feel like no matter what you're going through definitely meditate on these scriptures eventually slowly but surely because remember this is not um you know god works miracles but really a miracle is when and i heard this the other day do you really want a miracle because miracles happens usually when you're at like when you're desperate okay so we won't we don't want to get to that point of de desperation Let's get to the point where we decide, hey, enough is enough. We don't want to feel this way. Let's partner with God to help us get over this anxiety. Let's partner with God to help us, you know, do whatever, you know, lose weight. I don't know. Whatever it is that you want to do, partner with God and let him take you slowly through the stages that you are supposed to go through. So, for example, um, ever since I was a child, I've had... Um, anxiety and I would pull at my hair right here so I don't have alopecia like per se I do the I think it's tractal mania tractal something something and so I would like pick 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 until one day I saw on YouTube I was like oh, I thought I was picking because I had alopecia and I was just anxious about you know how I was going to be looking outside but sorry it's really because um it's um, something I do when I'm feeling anxious. So I've been praying to God about it and he's actually been helping me um, do it a lot less. I, I, I noticed since I've been praying, I do pull out my hair a lot less, which makes me feel good because before it's very hard to stop. I felt like I had to do it or like my hand by default when I was feeling anxious at work, like whatever it is, if I'm working on a project, I would just, my hand would just gravitate back there and just start doing the most and then the next thing you know i'm just like not again you know we're back at square one so just i would say be mindful it's a practice um bring it to god make your anxiety um one of your prayer points when you're praying to god when you're going to sleep um just remind him that you need help with that um yeah that you need help with your anxiety um so pray on it recite these scriptures and i'm hoping slowly but surely you know your anxiety will get under control um anxiety is a very hard thing to deal with even i think even for doctors to deal with so that's why i wanted to come at it from a biblical um perspective because i'm seeing results myself 
with this and that is that that is the video um billy i hope i had some interesting points um i hope if anyone stumbled upon this video when you do you found this helpful um i would definitely say look in the bible find some scriptures on anxiety or google google some scriptures on anxiety find one that that you gravitate to and just recite that and you just keep that in your back pocket um put it in your wallet and just when you need it unfold it read it read it until you feel calm and honestly i don't see why it wouldn't calm you down i i'm almost positive that it will give you some sense of relief so read it until you're calm take some deep breaths read it and fold it put it back into your pocket put it back into your wallet and just keep going about your day and then if you need to take a break just do the same thing over and over remember it's a process anything that is worth uh, doing um anything that is long lasting is a process it takes time always be you know leery of anything that happens like that okay and that's it i love you guys um if you want me to hit another topic add it in the comment section thank you billy um for the video suggestion and i'll see you guys in the next video bye